Hey, welcome back to my channel. This is the 29th vlog in the series of the build of my model and scale train track. If you want to follow me in the whole process of building this table, please consider to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon to get notified for further videos. So today we're gonna work on something different. As you can see here, I have here a board and this board will be positioned under the train yard. This board will get all the electronics which is used to control the train yard. As we saw on the train yard, we have six side tracks. We have a main track which goes to the train yard, uh, which is powered in three sections. We have several turnouts and we have automatic uncouplers. We have a side track for the locomotive. Everything will be positioned here on this board. And how am I going to do that? Well, I have various products which I can use. I can use, for example, a Arduino Nano. The only problem with this one is it is limited in memory to control. I can use a Arduino Uno or a clone Arduino. I can also use an ESP. This is an ESP32, which can be controlled by a Wi-Fi connection. So if you have a phone or a tablet or a computer, you would be able to control this over Wi-Fi. Then you can build a web page to do it. So let me put that aside. And as you may remember, I'm gonna slide in the train yard as it is of now in a, in a corner. You can see that um, we have six side tracks, two for passenger trains and four for cargo. Those side tracks need to be powered. So the power which I'm gonna use is an L298. This is a PWM motor driver and it can control two tracks. So we have one track for here and one track there. I'm gonna feed in power. So that will be on this board. But I have more to control. So I need to have at least three for the train yard two outlets and uh, for the passenger train power and four outlets for the cargo uh, but then we have the regular track which comes from the incline from the main track and then that is powered that section is powered and then you have the complete section where the um, um, the turnouts are in and then you have the section going to the bridge. But we also have a section where the locomotive for the train yard is. So I need to have this one. One is controlled for the locomotive area, the staging yard for the locomotive. And the other one will be for the uh, main track so that the locomotive can run on that uh, track to control the other sections. But then I have two left, so I will need five motor driver boards to control the ten sections which I have. Here on this picture, you can see that we have ten power sections only for the upper deck. Now it comes to turnouts. How to control the turnouts? Well, the turnouts, they are controlled by relays. Since I use solenoids to power the turnout, I need to drive them with a relay board. So with this relay board, I can control two turnouts because one relay is to set it straight and the other one is to set it in the exit. But how many turnouts do we have? We have in total seven turnouts only on that section. So I need to have four boards. So each relay is controlled by one output pin on a Arduino, either a Nano, Uno, or this one. But as you can imagine, these are, these are four outputs, eight, so 16 outputs. So I need to have 16 outputs to control the relays. Beside that, for the power section, I need to have for each power section, two for each side to control going forward or backward 
stop. So that would be four outputs for each side if I do not control the speed. If I want to control the speed, I have, I need to have PWM pins. We don't have that many on a Arduino. So for that, we need to have a separate board. This board is controlled over I2C and has 16 uh, PWM pins. We have five driver boards, motor driver boards, that will be 10 PWM pins. So with one board, I would be able to control the PWM pins for the driver board to regulate the speed. But I also need to have, um, for each driver board, four output pins, which are regular output pins. So we can put another I2C controller on that one. These are also PWM, but we can set them to just regular zeros and ones to control that. So I have 32 output pins here, but I also need to have 16 output pins there. So what can we do? We can put a smaller version of this one in, which is only output pins. Then I would need two. And this is all controlled by I2C. But this is not all, because we do want to know where the trains are. So we have detection sections. So we need to know which section has a train. Because if we want to run the train on this track, for example, here, with this turnout over here, I hope you can see that, uh, we have a curved coming in and a straight coming in with isolation points. The turnout is controlled. The power on the turnout comes from this section. And then we have this complete track, which is one power section. So this total track up to the railway station is one power section. But I need to determine if a train is there. So I'm going to use infrared sensors. And I showed you already with the infrared sensors how to control them, how to uh, uh, detect it in a tech tips. And these uh, infrared sensors, so these are the big ones, but I will put smaller ones in there so that they can be fitted either beside the track, so like this, or somewhere else. But on the train yard, we need to have these as well. But we don't have to have that many. So we need to detect if a train comes in the yard and also goes out of the yard. So we need to have two of those. To control the yard so that we know that uh, when a train comes onto on the incline and we detect that a train is already on the yard that no other train can come on the upper deck so this will be all controlled by either a Arduino Uno Arduino Nano or this ESP and that is a project which takes a very long time to build because we need to arrange all the wires on the upper deck and I will turn the camera around so you can see what I was busy with already so here you can see all the wiring of each track and also each turnout and not to forget the automatic uncouplers. So these wires will be fed into this board. So here you see it, the position as it is. And this board will be put on a sort of a rails or I'm gonna put wheels underneath because this area here is the curve of the upper deck. I will close this. But if I have any problems with the electronics on the upper deck, then I would be able to pull out this board so that I can work on it and have it not pull over the track. So let me uh, show you that. So here you can see how it is uh, pulled forward so that it's easier to uh, control and maintain. So I will push it back. At this moment there is no rails underneath or wheels, but at least you can 
get the idea. So this will be underneath the upper deck and that will be done in the coming episodes. So we're gonna wire the whole upper deck. As you can see I already put the wires in for each turnout for each section of rails or track and for the automatic uncouplers and I will go by them step by step. So first we're gonna put power to the track then we're gonna enable the turnouts and then we are going to detect where the train is where the train yard locomotive is. This is what is upcoming onto the channel so, so if you would like to see the wiring how it is built then subscribe to my channel and if you like this video hit the like button and hit the bell icon to get notified when subscribed for further videos to come and I will see you in a next video. Thank you and goodbye.